Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green and today we're in the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. Guys, we're playing West Ham, a proper Premier League side with like a 90,000 seat stadium that they rented from the city of London for a dollar or something. So it's exciting. I mean, it is true. People complain, West Ham fans complain that the, the stands are very well, far away from the field and at least... In FIFA, that is true. Look at that. There is a lot of space between the people and the football. Anyway, as you can see here, if we win this game, we're going to play either Liverpool or Arsenal, which, I mean, putting aside the fact that we'll lose is a huge moneymaker. However, I think we've got a chance because we've got a healthy ball John Green, and with a healthy ball John Green, who had two goals in the previous match, as you can see there, I think we got a chance any day against any one. Today's problem, I'm in the business of solving your problems, leave your problems in comments. Today's problem is from Jackie. Jackie writes, I want to come across as competent at work, but I often feel like I'm presumed to be incompetent until proven otherwise. I'm also a woman in a male-dominated field, which doesn't help, and I'm an entry-level worker with no seniority. It's a big problem, Jackie. It's almost as big as uh, Laura's problem from our last video, which is that she was cold all the time. So... There's a phrase that I found really annoying when I was younger, but I, as I've gotten older, I've come to think that it's literally true. It, the phrase is fake it till you... Why, does, why do the men look like regular people and the women look like weird sims? It, it's so strange. Like, it, I mean, I, I don't want to say that this is one example of institutionalized sexism, but it is the weirdest choice that FIFA made to develop one body type and not another. It's like all the women look exactly like Lara Croft in 1998 and the men look, look I mean look Javier Hernandez looks like a human being. He he's has he has a wet face because it's raining in England of course. Anyway, we're starting with a 421126 standard uh, Wimbley Wombly first half formation and we'll just see how it goes. West Ham are bigger than us. This is a big pitch. They're faster than us. Um, but as I told the boys before the game, there's one thing that you can't measure, and that's heart. And then the other thing that you can't measure is skill level, and that is also in our favor. So we're going to, oh, God, they're so fast. Oh, Meredith, we're in big trouble. They, these guys, these, these guys, they're speedy. They're not like Southampton. Goodness gracious, they're running. Okay, we've got the ball, though. We've got the ball, and we're attacking. So the phrase, fake it till you make it, it is a dumb phrase, and I know it's annoying, but it's true. Like, nobody... Nobody knows what they are doing. Nobody is... Oh! Oh, it's a penalty! Oh, my goodness! Nobody knows what they're doing in life. Not the guy who just committed a penalty on ball, John Green. It is a penalty. That's a stone-cold penalty. You don't have to like it, Slavin Bilic, but it happened. They did not do a good job making Slavin Bilic look handsome, which he is. All right, John Green steps up. He's our go-to penalty taker. Oh, that's a really good penalty. It's well-placed. Oh, God, it's magnificent. It's a dream start for the Wembley Womblies. It's a dream beginning, and we do the rugby celebration. Seven minutes in, up 1-0. Nobody knows what they're doing. Everybody feels incompetent. Everybody is uncomfortable with themselves. And so a lot of times when people are putting you down or assuming that you're incompetent or you feel like they're assuming that you're incompetent, it's because they themselves are insecure and they themselves are worried about, you know what you think of them or what people above them in the hierarchy think of them or what they'll think of how they're managing you or whatever. Like most of the people I've known who manage employees are extremely uncomfortable and don't know if they're doing a good job managing employees. So part of it is that it's, and it's really hard to, it's really hard to understand that or like internalize it when you're beginning your career, just because you know, that's the nature of beginning a career. There's like a lot of stuff you don't, you don't know just about the interpersonal things. So I, I think the being like competent in your job is one thing, like knowing how to, I'm imagining that you're a software engineer. I don't know why, but you said a male dominated field. And so I'm just going to roll with that. And if you're not a software engineer, then I apologize. Uh, oh God. Oh boy. I mean, we're going to need to score more than one goal, it seems, because I don't really trust our 17-year-old goalkeeper to necessarily uh, keep a clean sheet here against West Ham. I, I think that you do have to remember that other people feel, other people also feel 
incompetent or other people also feel insecure in their work. And the fr- the great thing about faking it till you make it is that you pretty quickly realize that like faking competence is competence. Like obviously if you don't know what if you don't know what to do, if you have a question about like how to proceed with with something, then at, by all means like ask that question, learn that skill. Yes, like that's super important to learn that stuff to, you know, under, better under better understand Oh, shoot. The work that you do, Rafo. Really good, Rafo. <sighs> wow. I mean, that might be the closest we've ever come to scoring, uh, giving up a goal without giving up a goal. I don't really know what just happened, but it is still 1-0. We are getting played off the pitch right now. That's for sure. Okay. Let's just, guys, let's just take a second. Okay. 28 minutes in and breathe. We didn't give up a goal. We still have every opportunity to win this game. We are winning this game. Okay. So the that's the first thing that I, I would say. Um, the second thing I would say is that it's really difficult to be in a field where uh, you're going to be judged differently because of who you are. And and it's really and and I I, I don't have like an easy solution for that except to say. Uh, that I'm sorry, and I hope you have mentors um, who will fight for you in that. And I think it's important to look look for mentors. Um, you know, look, look for women in the company that that you're working in, or in the field that you're working in, or, or supportive men who will, um, you know, who, who who will help you and listen to you and understand that you know, that that's real. Vinny thrills on the ball. Vinny thrills on the ball. Vinny thrill. Oh God. What if he could finish? What if any of the boys other than John Green's could finish? I mean, we would be a force to be reckoned with. That's a pretty good cross. Not good enough. Oh, Vinny thrill with a beautiful breakaway. Um, and maybe, I mean, arguably should have passed the ball, John Green, but then people would be criticizing me for passing. So I don't know. I don't know what the right thing to do was there. I know that that ding means that I have a meeting in 10 minutes. Speaking of incompetence, I continue to be so bad at meetings and not to know what I want to say and to feel like I'm saying it stupidly. Um, and I've been doing this for a while. It's got to be. And it, oh my God, it is. Oh, give him a hug. Go give him a huggy. Yo, John Green picks up tiny little Frankenstein. He's a doctor, not a monster. George Frankham with the beautiful headed finish in the bottom corner. Oh my God, he just guided that perfectly just inside the post. And suddenly from the brink of 1-1, it's 2-0. And you've got to like our chances now. Two first half goals against a, a, a big team, you know, a team that admittedly just barely survived in the Premier League this year, but a big a big club, I think it's safe to say. It's got John Green. Oh, my God. John Green almost went for the spectacular. He nutmegged the guy, and then he tried to nutmeg him again. The double nutmeg, one of the most beautiful moves in soccer, certainly the most humiliating. The main thing I'd say is that it seems to me from your comment that you know that you're competent. Um and there is an element of, I think, being young in any career where people assume that you don't know things, especially, and I think that is, I think that is more of a problem in office environments um, and work environments for general for, for, for women. There's like a weird, there, there, I, I think that is real. And um, I think like there's pretty good studies about it too. Oh my God, I've scored another goal and it was a butte. I mean... What, who even am I? As a beautiful ball from Ball John Green. Look at Ball John Green. He's not even celebrating. He's too good for celebrations. Look at that. Look at that. And was that Vinny Thrill? Was that 19-year-old Vinny Thrill? It looks like him. It was. It was. He finally did a finish. That's why you're a central attacking midfielder, Vinny. Because you're a finisher. Oh, my gosh. Guys, this game... It, are we going to find ourselves in a situation where against a premier league opponent in the quarterfinals of the FA cup, we make some substitutions to rest some of our most important players because it feels like we're in that situation. And the weird thing about this game is that we were five seconds away from freaking catastrophe. 
there's always going to be people in, in any work environment who don't listen to you um, and who don't take you seriously, um, whether that's because of who you are or it's because they feel threatened by you or it's because of their own biases or whatever. That's always that's always going to that's always going to happen. Um, and it, it can be really hard to work within, you know, that kind of like unhealthy work environment. Vinny Thrill, Vinny Thrill. Oh, he went for the glory. Tried to pass the ball. John Green got the ball back. Probably should have passed again, but didn't. Anyway, it sounds to me like you know that you're good at your job and you know that you know your field. And so you're young and part of being, I, I think it's like inherent to being young that you don't feel super confident in a job and you may not have people building you up effectively in that job because that really like that's not just your responsibility i feel like that's also the responsibility of your managers it's also the responsibility of people you're working with to tell you when you're doing a great job to tell you that you know to tell you that you're competent um and and to tell you like when they are impressed with that that to me like building someone up is so much harder and what what did i do wrong was i too good was it too good did i play too well i did I'm going to make substitutions because let's face it, guys. I mean, there's like 20 minutes left in this game. And the last thing we need is another John Green injury. It was a disaster last time. So we're going to take off both John Greens. And uh, we're also going to take off. Who else are we going to take off? We're going to take off Meadsy for Callum Kennedy. Meadsy could use a little rest. He's been playing a ton. Uh, and I really appreciate the support of all three of these guys. So here we go. Here we go. Ball John Green looks a little annoyed to be coming off, but he shouldn't be because he knows he knows what he means to this club. We're going to have to work very hard to keep both John Greens in the offseason. It's going to be a big focus, uh, but we'll get there. And look, we, we have the prospect of playing championship football next season. You know, we're going to be playing probably the likes of West Ham. So it's exciting. I'm, I, I, am, I am pretty fired up about my 3-0 win here. This is uh, definitely... I want to say it's the biggest win that we've had, but it's the biggest win we've had this season. Lyle Taylor alone on goal. He's not a finisher, but no. God, Lyle. Oh, that was that was truly hideous. I mean, that was that was ugly. That was ugly. I mean, if he could finish, I mean, he's a, such a good finisher in real life. I don't know why they didn't make him a finisher in this game, but boy. So. Fake it till you make it. And I, I honestly think like as you move on in your career, you'll like you'll gain the confidence. Nobody wakes up in the morning like confident at doing something. I think it just like some of it, not all of it, but some of it is literally just time. You do something for a while and then you feel like you know how to do it. And until you've done it for a while, you can't feel like you know how to do it. And so I, I think not obviously not all of it is just time, but some of it is like this meeting that I'm about to go into. Like, I'm not good at meetings. And I'm probably not going to be particularly good at this meeting. But I have been in a lot of meetings at this point. So I know about what to do. And I know about, like, you know, I I think I've gotten better at, like, listening to people and that kind of thing. Oh, no. Rafa! Worked out better than expected. You know what? Slavin Bilic is really upset and disappointed. And I don't blame him. So... I don't know. I think I feel like I've the funny thing is I don't actually think that I'm better at, you know, like being in a business environment than I was 10 years ago. But I do feel a lot more confident, which makes it seem like I'm better. Uh, it makes people, I think, take me more seriously. I do think I've gotten better at listening to people, which at, at the at the core. That not just in business, but that's so much of life is listening to people and understanding them and not, um, yeah. And taking them seriously, understanding that, that their, that their reality is, is really real. Uh, it, that's a hard thing to do sometimes because you've got all these competing realities to think about, but if you can do that, if you can have that, that kind of empathy, I think it's, I think it's extremely helpful. That said, I don't know, like there's also lots of ways in which I'm, I'm terrible in a business environment, including that, I actively hate meetings so much that I'm. it's going to be obvious during this entire meeting that I don't want to be there. I'm just kidding. People who are in that meeting, I'm so excited. 
Thanks for watching. We're going to the quarterfinals or the semifinals. I don't know. We're really, we're moving on. Best wishes.